Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel again. So today is uh, Tuesday, um, June 9 of 2020. So again, um, I'm shooting this video right now. It's already 1.39 um, in the afternoon. So I'm coffee pa ako, yan. So regardless, it get mainit yung, ano no, mainit yung tawag dito yan. If mainit yung panahon, wala pa rin makakatalo or wala pa rin makakapigil sa uh, mga coffee lovers um, like me. And yes, um, gumising kasi actually, ano, meron na akong shift uh, mamaya around from 8pm, still the same schedule, 8pm to this is actually my fourth day, yes. Uh, still the same time from 8pm to 4pm local time or Manila time. And yes, actually doon ako kanina sa veranda sa labas, nagkakape ako rin, kumain ako ng pansit yung ton, and diba, hindi ko na siya nagyan ng egg kasi nga nagutom na ako. Uh, ganyan kasi ako pag nagutom talaga ako, so nagigising talaga ako, so I need to make sure na pag nagsaing ako is mayroon talagang, hindi lang siya pwede na ay panghapunan lang o pangalmusa lang, dapat pag nagsaing ako sa from morning, ano na yan, abot na yan, either abot na yan um, lunch or minsan nagang dinner na rin. Pero ano siya guys, um, kasi medyo madali siyang mapanis uh, kasi nga sa init ng panahon ngayon, especially pag yung rice cooker yung nilutuan mo, nag nagbumoist yung takip. So, nagkoko siya, mapanis yung kanin agad. Anyways, um, I like to let you know guys that tomorrow I'm gonna do my best. I don't know, um, I think that's gonna be a Thursday na lang para at least um, wala tayong hassle, di ba, walang... Kasi bukas may shift pa ako. So, sa Thursday lang kasi off ko. Then, magbakbang tayo. But this time, we're gonna do it. Uh, magmukbang tayo, I mean. Uh, but this time, we're gonna do it outdoors. So, hindi ako dito sa loob ng room ko. Ayan, tignan yung ano. Kasi mag, ano pa ako, ayusin ko pa yung mga background dito. So, maybe uh, tomorrow, dun tayo sa labas sa may veranda. Sa may pinagkapin to kanina. Para at least, uh, fresh yung hangin. Kasi pag dito sa loob, puro siling fan lang yung, di ba? Siling fan yun lang na provide ng air. I don't know, may bintana naman. But then, it's still different pag fresh talaga yung hangin. And at the same time, nakaka-relax na siya, guys. So, that's actually, um, um, I'm gonna let you know, or I'm gonna show to you guys how I spend my rest day of working from home. Na, yes, it's actually, uh, it's kind of hard guys, kasi yung, sabi ko yung convenience is, um, the advantage of working at home is, I mean, working from home, I'm not complaining, okay, I'm just giving you the, the, both side, the positive and the negative, not really negative, but I mean, like, the advantage or disadvantage, parang same pa rin. So, pag nag-work from home ka kasi, guys, uh, first is, of course, yung comfort, right, kasi yung, yung, okay lang pag may aircon sa bahay nyo, right, but for me, um, the advantage is that when I come first with the internet connection, since um, we are using our own internet connection, or I mean, I'm using, um, I have actually my PLDT Wi-Fi. However, what I'm using right now is the Globe at Home uh, prepaid Wi-Fi that was provided by the company. So the advantage if you're working from home, especially if on your location, the internet is not that fast. We know naman guys na internet internet connection dito sa Philippines is iba compare sa, you know, outside, uh, I mean, to other countries. So anyways, ayun nga yung disadvantage is first, yung internet connection is, pag hindi siya maganda, of course, um, expected na na mag-loading yung tools mo, though it will also affect your job because our job is, of course, internet-based uh, or inter internet-dependent. So... Uh, all of our tools, you cannot open it if you don't have any internet connection. Second is, um, when it comes to electricity, sa electricity naman guys, I'm so thankful here in my location na hindi siya ganun kadalas mag brown out. It's like very rare since nag-start ako dito mag-rent noong July of 2019. Um, I haven't experienced any brown out na, alam mo yung sobrang tagal talaga. And then, um, unlike kasi pag nasa company ka, dito kasi syempre pag brown out, walang generator, wala kang backup na electricity. So definitely, um, of course, again, affected yung trabaho mo kasi hindi ka na makapag-take calls or if you're still on training, you will not be able to attend your training since ano gagamitin mo kasi naka-turn off lahat, di ba? Kasi walang kuryente. Then, uh, third is kasi imagine for oh, four years now, for four years of working in a call center, um, believe it or not, hindi man ako lumakas sa aircon, but of course, those four years I spend like 90% of my life in, in the office. 
for the whole four years in counting. So of course, I sana yung katawan ko sa aircon. So it's really different uh, working in the office kasi nga naka aircon ka. And at the same time, is yung background noise, guys. So though the customers um so far for how many days of me taking calls, um I haven't received any complaint from the customers they um yet that um they're hearing background noise. I don't have, I don't receive um any any or call this any complaint yet from the customer. And like a sano, and like a sa, sa office, right? Pag office space ka. But ito naman yung, I mean, ito naman yung, so those are the, for me, those are the advantages. And the advantage naman is of working uh, from home is that definitely you can still feel comfort because you are comfortable in a sense na nasa bahay ka lang, right? That um, anytime, I mean, when, when you, when you, when you, you take your scheduled break or lunch, then it will be easier for you. In the very first place, nakakatipid ka pag work from home. Kasi in the very first place, kasi lahat na lang in the very first place. I mean, pag nag-work from home ka kasi, you don't need to pay for for fare. And at the same time, instead of eating in the pantry, na mag-spend ka ng hundreds or more than that, or magpunta ka ng 7-Eleven, um, you can actually cook your own food here. You can just simply boil the egg, you know, uh, cook pansit canton, you know, ha, you know, Ha, uh, drink your coffee or take your coffee, di ba? Ganun na siya, guys. So, it's very accessible. And at the same time, you can actually um, take it inside your room, right? Your food. Kasi nga, nasa bahay ka lang naman. And like sa office na hindi siya, ano, and like sa office na na tawag dito na bawal yung, ano, bawal yung pagkain. And at the same time, yung, yung advantages, another advantage aside from those is, of course, sabi nga, nakakatipid ka, makakasave ka talaga ng bongga. And um, another thing is that um, forever, parang accessible lang siya, parang it's very easy na pag work from home ka like, you know, like after mag -log out, lalo na ngayon sa akin kasi hindi naman ganun kakalakihan yung room ko sa akin. Actually, this is my bed, yung inupuan ko ngayon is bed ko na siya. And then, yung table na nilagay ko, sinetap ko dito is nasa harapan ko lang din. So, pag bangon ka ng bed, actually, pag nag-take ni calls ako, um, dito ako umupo sa bed. And then, Kaharap po lang yung ano, pag kaharap po lang yung monitor and then um, yung PC set. So, dyan lang din ako nag-take ko. So, it's, kumaga, it's gonna be a less hassle. Instead of spending your time traveling for, for like an hour, lalo na pag Cebu, Cebu City base kasi yung site namin or yung office namin and then dito ako nag-stay sa Lapu-Lapu City. So, if traffic guys, it takes like um, one to two hours talaga yung travel. So, by that, nag-spend ako ng 20, I mean, ng 1 to 2 hours already of my time. So, hindi na makomplete yung 8 hours na tulog ko, diba? And at the same time, pagdating mo dito sa bahay, of course, maglilipit ka or, or what not, diba? Magluluto ka. So, kumbaga, nababawasan yung remaining time mo, which is time na dapat nalatid na para mag-rest ka. So, pag work from home ka, right after you log out, after you end your shift, you can just simply lie, lay down or lie down, you know, to your bed and, uh, you know, uh, go to sleep. Diba? And take a and take a rest. You can actually, um, ako, ako actually hindi ako, hindi ko kaya siyang ma-oversleep. Um, unless, let's say for example, like, ma two days na, like, na four hours to three hours. Actually, guys, ako, for four years of working sa call center, four hours na tulog is enough na sa akin. So, how much more pag eight hours, sobrang hyper ko na yan. Um, I will drink coffee for the sake na, na addict na ako sa coffee, but, hindi siya para magising ako pag naka-eight hours ako ng tulog. But example, like three, two to four hours ng tulog ko, I would really need to drink coffee. Like, ganun ako ka-addict sa coffee. And actually, may purpose ng coffee para magising ako. Kasi hindi naman ako nagsisigarili or even uh, vaping. I, I don't do it. So, ayun na nga. But, um, but then again, I, I know naman na in all of our jobs, um, we, there is always an advantage and disadvantages. But the good thing here of uh, working from home is uh, that um, I am always, I, um, even before, um, especially when ACQ happens, uh, I mean, when lockdown happens, um, happened, I mean, um, ano siya guys, parang, I am so grateful and thankful na, I know naman, there are a lot of people of, you know, not only Filipinos, but, you know, a lot of people who lost their job, not totally lost their job, but, you know, like, their job was, was temporary placed in hold because there's no transportation, there's no way okay lang pag yung company is meron siyang, meron kayong company vehicle but not 
lot ng company and na uh, my company vehicle is nag ano kasi they need to follow the guidelines as well so they need to to minimize yung my employees na na nag duty so for me I'm still thankful I'm grateful I'm not complaining na na mababa yung sahod or what not I'm actually in the yung mindset ko ngayon is I'm still thankful and grateful that every you know every I'm receiving um, pay or I am receiving um, salary twice a month right especially now that we're not stable yet we can say that we are totally safe to go out since marami pa ring case uh, day by day or every day nag increase yung case and meron talaga mga positive cases so we um for me ang gat meron tayong mga cases um we're not totally safe to go out right kasi hindi siya ano hindi siya tawag dito hindi siya visible right you will not be able to identify kung sino yung infected tsaka hindi especially now uh, a days that marami na rin yung mga symptomatic diba so ganun so ayun lang ang ingat-ingat lang tayo all, all the time um, again if ever na wala naman kung ganun ka importanteng lakad sa labas if ever na bumili ka like bibili na naman kayo ng mga pagkain if mayroon namang like example bibili ka ng gulay or, or mga manok if ever na may tinda naman dyan sa labas na for as long as hindi sira ah like okay naman siya makasustain naman siya then go ahead do it ako kasi um kasi ano lang yan eh parang basta ganun lang siya parang ano ba yung topic natin na pupunta na agad sa pandemic but then again ay yung sinasabi ko guys na especially so kay, sa lahat ng mga working from home right now um instead of complaining let's just be thankful and grateful ako actually of course it's really normal sa lahat ng mga call center agents um John or employees I know na makarelate kayo guys na no matter what account you will handle you will always encounter irate customers. Kasi nga diba tayo, may mga profile tayo ng customers, uh, we should know how to, or we should know how to identify or do a customer profiling, like irate, mabait, happy, jolly, um, talkative, you know, it actually centers have their own uh, way on how to identify um, or on how to profile their customer's emotion. So, I believe na kahit ano pa naman yung ano natin, but we should be thankful na kasi we're here kaya nga tawag tinawag na call center di ba we're here especially pag voice account ka we are here to take calls we're here to cater our customers or answer the call over the phone we're not here to we're not hired to sit there and you know just stare on our monitor and you know watch videos on youtube or whatnot di ba so our job is to taking calls to answer calls from our clients over the phone and of course to provide um you know, a right resolution to further assist them resolve whatever concerns they do have with, you know, with the account that you're handling either your your service provider, your, you're from sales department, you're from technical support, you're from billing or, you know, customer assistance um, or customer support, whatever department you're in, we're still there to cater our customers. I think um, let's just simply look on the positive side of everything that doon na minsan na kasi ganyan tayo eh um, even I uh, myself um, natitrigger ako lang pag sinisigawan ako ng customer like alam mo yung parang pag, parang mas matalino pa siya compare sa iyo parang parang mas alam niya pa yung ginagawa natin that's really normal but dapat hindi tayo makarry ano makarry the way ng emotion ni customer dapat um, we should talk to them as a human all right kasi may emotion din sila um, most of the time the reason na nagiging irate sila Kasi nga, hindi gumagana yung service. Especially now, kapag service provider ka ganyan kasi yan. Especially now, in this time of pandemic, that they need also, so kahit tayo naman, di ba nag-check tayo, we need to make sure na kinakontakt natin yung family members natin, our friends, relatives, and you know, those people na important sa atin, kinakontakt natin sila through messenger, through chat, through call and text, di ba? To, to, to check if they, if, how are they doing there, right? Especially pag malayo ka sa kanila. Also the same with them, with our customers. They are also um, thinking about the situation of their relatives, friends, and you know, again, those people na importante sa kanila. So, of course, if you're gonna put yourself in your customer shoe, how would you feel pag hindi gumagana yung service mo? Especially if you would really need to to call yung isang yung family members mo, yung relatives mo. Especially if those people na, ano, those people na, those clients who are working from home for their business as well that they need to do a follow-up or contact their clients for 
you know, for, for summer vacation, about, you know, the, the transaction that they offer as well. So, ano yung ma-feel mo? Of course, you will feel frustrated. So, it's gonna be the same way. Diba? So, you'll just need to, to connect to your customers. If you can talk to them as your customers, um, talk to them as human. Kasi human as you are, guys. You are, they are, if you are human, they are human too. They have, they do have emotions. Kung ikaw nga minsan nagagalit, diba? Kung, kung ikaw nga minsan niinip, diba? Pag pumila, pag pumila ka sa isang fast food chain, na sobrang tagal ng order mo, diba? Sobrang haba ng pila, ang bagal pa ng mga ano, diba? You, you even sometimes, tapos ang mamadali ka, even sometimes, kasi gutom ka na, you even sometimes, na-irritate ka na rin, diba? You, you, my God, yung, yung mukha mo parang hindi na madrawing, tapos pagdating doon sa counter, parang my God, sarap mo ng, sarap, ano, alam, like gusto mo ng buga ng apoy yung mga, yung mga, ano doon, yung mga crew doon. But of course, normal yung kasi may emotion tayo, but we should know how to handle our emotion as well. Hindi sa lahat ng oras, eh, magpapadala tayo sa emotion. Of course, sabi ko nga, it's already normal na human as we are, we do have emotion, but we should not let our emotion control, you know, our decision. Kasi most of the time, nagde-decide tayo, guys. Ayan kasi sino yung uh, panoorin yung motivational speaker. They don't advise you to decide or make decision when you are happy, when you are sad, when you are angry, when you are lonely, you know. Kasi guys, napigtuhan yung decision natin. Um, hindi ba? So, hindi dapat tayo ganun. So, same with them. Um, yung iniisip ko na lang is, I understand na their situation is ganito na they need to get their service back especially those yung like already they're already in the phone for how many minutes they they need to alam mo yun magtalk pa sila sa ating automated system before they could get a representative so i already know the hassle diba kasi sa US talaga guys um they really do the time is gold hindi lang yung kasabihan sa kanila they really apply it and when they say time is gold they they mean it parang ganun siya so, yes, ayun ang yung isa sa advice ko. I think, let's just always put ourselves on our customer shoe. Diba? Um, like, y you know, like, um, we should treat them uh, them as a human as well. And at the same time, um, para sa akin, uh, working from home is, is good. And guys, if your company um, offered or let you allow you to work from home uh, from home be thankful that is something that we should be thankful sa ating company it's a it's a give and take um, it's a give and take process actually of course pag nagtrabaho tayo our customer our um, company will gain our uh, revenue and at the same time tayo you know in return nakakuha tayo ng salary di ba kasi mayroong revenue yung company natin so it's a give and take so, hindi lang tayo puro yung take-take. Hindi naman po yun na naka-on-hold yung trabaho natin. Then, we will be paid by the company. So, hindi naman po yun yung gano'n. Kasi malugi yung company. ba Imagine thousands of employees yung i-place nila for the meantime on hold because of, you know, this risk during this pandemic. Then, sa sahawra nila. Then, walang kikitaan yung company. So, it's gonna be a business as usual pa rin. So again, um, if you're currently working from home or if you're currently working on-site and your company is paying for your hotel, paying for your lodge, lodging right now, you know, paying those expenses, be thankful, be grateful that you have that company. Um, your company deserves you and you also deserve that company. So just be thankful instead of, you know, complaining um, with this and that. Of course, we're not perfect. Uh, our life isn't perfect. So, um, there are really circumstances we are in, alam mo, matrigger tayo, mag-complain tayo, bakit kasi ganito, bakit kulang yung ganito, ganyan, ganito, ganyan. But, let's always look on the better, I mean, on the bigger picture of everything. Like, you know, instead of complaining, let's be thankful. Let's, let's think about those people na nawala ng trabaho. At, at, until now, hindi pa nakabalik. Imagine, nag-start tayo ng March, ng lockdown. Until now, it's already March, April, May, June. It's already three months, di ba? So, it's three months already. Then, di pa rin sila nakabalik sa mga trabaho nila. So, let's try to thank those people na they're, and yung iba, yung iba nga is, ano na, nagsusugal na. They're already risking their, their health, their safety. Di ba, makipagpatentero na dun sa pagbalik ng transportation, makipagsiksi ka na bahala ng ganito, ganyan. Bahala na if, alam mo yun, for the sake na ma- to make sure na magkaroon sila ng income. Guys, for lockdown na 3 months, hindi, ganun, hindi siya ganun-ganun. Hindi siya ganun 
hindi, hindi siya ganun kabasta-basta makabawi ng, ano, makabawi or makarecover agad, guys. Especially those business na naman na lugi dahil sa lockdown ngayon, guys. Hindi siya ganun kadali bawiin. Not, even yung mga small businesses, guys, yung mga nagtitinda, hindi siya ganun kadali bawiin. Imagine for three months na you're not getting any revenue, then, you, you also need to, of course, if you're for like three months na hindi ka, hindi ka nakakuha ng revenue, you're not getting any revenue, then, of course, hindi mo naman pwedeng yung savings mo, um, like, itabi mo na lang yun. Of course, hindi naman pwedeng hindi ka bibili ng pag for you and for your entire family, di ba? So, there are also, that you also need to support your relatives na, di ba, nang ngailangan di sa during this um, pandemic. So, di ba, so, so far, ganun lang naman, um, actually, ay, ganun lang for me, ganun lang yung, for me, ha, ganun lang yung, yung advantage and disadvantages, uh, disadvantages of working from home compared to uh, working on site or working in the office. So again, um, I think I'm gonna end this vlog. I'm gonna make a new video again by tomorrow. Um, hopefully, maybe, ano, um, punta ko lang Union Bank kasi alam na may blessings na naman tayo bukas. So thank you so much, Lord. And yes, um, again, sa Thursday na lang siguro ako mag-back na bang, guys. Again, um, this time, nagyan natin ang twist kasi previously parang ang boring. Hindi naman siya boring yung, yung pagkain lang, hindi lang ha. Actually, marami naman yung pagkain natin, ba? Dalawang box na cake balls, isang lichong manok, and yung tawag dito, yung Sprite. Ay, Coca-Cola pala. And then, kanin, ganun lang. So this time, guys, um, on Thursday, I actually ordered, um, Don Benitos na pasaba kay kasi that's one of my favorite. Um, ang sarap kasi niya guys. And then, was it? Puto cheese. Ganing order ko. So, puto cheese. Parang tayong puto cheese on Thursday. Uh, parang 15 ata 15 pieces yun. And then, mayroon tayong cassava cake. And then, of course, nimuwala yung coke. And I'm gonna try to cook um, other menus like yung, yung bam e or adobo. Or let's see na lang kung ano maging menu natin sa Thursday. And at the same time, um, ano pa ba? Pero I'm planning kasi sa Thursday, guys. I'm planning kasi na magluto ako. Kasi nga, di ba, nung last time, di ako nakapagluto kasi nga, nagpadala sa ganito, na ganito, ganyan. Kasi marami akong ginasan. Tsaka hindi pa naman ganun galaki yung side ko that time. Kasi ilang days lang yung cover niya, like four days na. So, maliit lang siya, guys. So, ngayon, medyo, hindi, hindi naman siya, para sa akin malaki, medyo malaki yung, yung kita natin ngayon. So, it's time for us to share ng food. Kahit simple yung luto lang, di ba? Tapos, mabibigyan natin sila. Alright, so ganun lang. Um, again, I thank you so much uh, for watching my videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to click, like, and share. And for those who are not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to click subscribe para update na kayo sa ating mga videos. So that would be all for today. And I'm gonna see you on tomorrow. And again, please don't forget to check our channel on Thursday para update kayo sa ating Mukbang. I'm gonna do it. Um, I will not edit the video, edit the video anymore because I pa doing it to guys and video editor is not working and there's no way for me to transfer files to my phone since I don't have any USB uh, connect connector yet. All right. So thank you so much again, guys, for your time and keep safe. Uh, stay at home. Again, always wash your hands and make sure to um, eat proper or uh, healthy food. Thank you so much.